Hello friends, welcome to my channel CV Concept. Friends, today I am going to teach you uh, what is estimate, data required for estimate, and type of estimate. So first of all, start with the estimate. It is the process of calculating the quantities and cost of various item of work required in connection uh, in connection with the construction, right? So first of all, it is the calculating the quantities. So what is uh, which are the quantities, right? Which uh, quantity we have to calculate? Obviously, we are uh, constructing a building. So we need to be calculate the quantities of item of work. Now you say what is item of work? Item of work means what? If you are doing the concreting in foundation, so it is uh, item of work, right? Concreting in foundation, it is item of work. If you are doing the brick machinery work in superstructure, so it is, uh, the brick machinery is one kind of item of work. Then again, the plaster work, it is also your item of work, right? So this is the item of work. So each and every quantity of or item of work right quantity of item of work we have to calculate right before uh, starting any construction project right and uh, also the cost of various item of work then uh, we, uh, we need to be calculate also the cost of uh, that quantities or that item of work right so uh, so why we uh, do the estimate right why we uh, calculate the estimate before the project right this uh, question may be arise in your mind so uh, before starting any project we required the total cost of a project right we need to be total cost of project how we will get the total cost of project right so uh, we need the quantities and uh, we uh, as you have the quantities quantities like cement sand aggregate right we, uh, we need the quantities or total quantities of this uh, uh, material right uh, then and then we can uh, find out, uh, we can found out the uh, their, their cost and ultimately the total uh, if uh, ultimately we will get the total cost of the project right so this is the estimate uh, before starting any construction project uh, we need to be do the estimate for that project right so estimation is required before starting any construction project then uh, what are the data required for a preparing estimate so uh, if you want to uh, do uh, prepare an estimate right you require the plan of that uh, right plan of that uh, construction work then elevation of that work and the also important that is a section of uh, that building right you are uh, if you are estimating the building uh, course right so plan uh, from the plan you can get the length and width and elevation section uh, will provide you height right elevation section uh, will provide you height and how the structure uh, look like so you can calculate the quantities right uh, basically uh, what is the estimation uh, in estimation generally we just uh, find uh, we, uh, we will uh, multiply the length width and height so we get the quantity in meter cube right so uh, we just require plan elevation and section for preparing the estimate of any kind of building or structure so what are the different types of estimates right uh, so there are various types of estimates are available uh, or we need to be uh, uh, calculate this all estimate uh, when uh, they are required to be uh, required right so uh, we will see the first estimate that is approximate estimate so approximate estimate as here, uh, her uh, is name indicate that this estimate is prepared to find out the approximate cost of project so that the authority can section it and can check it right so means what the approximate estimate ju prepared just before the starting uh, just before the uh, starting of the project just before the starting of the project before preparing the detail estimate right detail estimate is a fully uh, describe uh, the quantity also of material and approximate estimate just the um, approach quantity right uh, you can see that uh, if the uh, you uh, in an area you are constructing any project right and uh, that similarly in that area uh, other building is constructed so you can just compare your uh, uh, that construction cost of that building and your proposed uh, building 
so you will get the approximate cost of construction right and uh, this will uh, this will give the just idea to the uh, authority to, uh, to do the project or not right uh, as uh, the authority uh, agree or uh, about this uh, project from the approximate estimate they uh, give the permission to prepare the detail estimate so now we will see the detail estimate this is the accurate estimate in which detailed quantity of each item of work is calculated and costing also done from the quantity okay this is the most important uh, estimate uh, in detail estimate uh, each and every quantity uh, of uh, each and each uh, quantity of item of work is calculated also the cost of work also cal uh, calculated detail estimate is the contract document right uh, in the uh, detail estimate also prepare it for the any uh, permission government permission we require the detail estimate in short in detail estimate uh, each and every uh, quantity is calculated and it is multiplied by their rate and final costing is done in the detail estimate right so detail estimate is the most important type of estimate then we go to the revised estimate to revise what is revised indicate uh, revise so revised uh, estimate as you, uh, its name indicate it is the estimate of revised quantity in item of uh, rate original uh, uh, from the original estimate right and it is prepared when means what uh, revised estimate uh, sometimes uh, when uh, the uh, sometimes the uh, we require to prepare the revised estimate uh, when original section estimate exceeds by the five percent, right? Sometimes what happens? The estimated uh, originally estimated cost is exceeded uh, exceeds by five percent. Means uh, total cost of project is exceeded by the five percent. Means uh, you if your uh, project of uh, hundred uh, uh, one crore, then your estimated cost is exceeded by the five lakh. Then uh, more than five lakhs, then you have to uh, make the revised estimate. Right, uh, so uh, the uh, contractor did not get the uh, ha this uh, bad effect. Right, then expenditure is exceed more than ten percent. Then expenditure of project, uh, if it exceeds by ten percent, uh, you must have to prepare the revised estimate for that project. And when the material deviation from the original lesson, right, uh, means what he uh, means what. Uh, Sometimes uh, the materials are uh, not available on the site that uh, that uh, that we mentioned uh, in the uh, estimate. So it is material variation, and we are, uh, and uh, the material mentioned in the estimate is uh, uh, cheap, and uh, you are using the material that is uh, available, which is uh, higher in the cost. So you have to uh, you must have to prepare the revised estimate, right? So revised estimate prepared in within uh, three cases. Also, the if, uh, estimated cost is more than the original cost, uh, then and then also the uh, revised estimate is prepared. Okay. Then uh, we look to, uh, forward to the supplementary estimate. So it is prepared when uh, some uh, changes or additional work uh, due to material deviation of structural nature from the design originally approved may be necessary uh, for a development of project. Means what? Uh, if uh, any work that is not mentioned in the uh, detail estimate, and uh, after pro progress of work, uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to construct that work, we have to prepare that work, uh, or contractor have to do that work. Uh, in additionally, so uh, contractor has the right to prepare the supplementary estimate for a supplementary work, means extra work. So that estimate is known as the supplementary estimate. Uh, and then fifth point there is combined supplementary and revised estimate okay uh, so it is uh, when work is partially abandoned and estimated cost of remaining work is less than 95% of original cost means what uh, supplementary revised estimate prepared when the work is partially abandoned and the estimated cost of remaining work is less than 95% means the uh, work remaining is less than 95 percent then and then you can prepare the both the combined and revised estimate right and more than 95 percent you are not able to prepare any uh, re combined and revised and supplementary estimate right then annual repair and maintenance estimate annual repair and maintenance estimate uh, is the prepared for annual repair for any uh, kind of building uh, right uh, uh, everybody prepare the annual repair and maintenance uh, estimate Right, so for a repairing work, uh, we also require the uh, estimate. All right, so this is annual repair and maintenance.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल से भी कौन सा